What is good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I have a delicious chicken pot pie recipe for you all and this is just so good right here. I cannot wait for you guys to try it out yourselves. So we're not about to waste any time. We're about to get right on to it. So let's get started. So to begin, you wanna go ahead and grab a rotisserie chicken from your local grocery store. Do not ask me where the wings went. I don't know, okay? The guys, they just disappeared. I didn't eat them, I promise, all right? Just kidding. Anyways, go ahead and break this down just like so, and do not throw away any of the bones. You can make a nice chicken broth with these bones, so go ahead and save them. Once that's all said and done, go ahead and peel the skin off. There's many uses for that as well do that and we are gonna then chop up this chicken accordingly all right and i swear guys i am trying to put you on to something special there is nothing like a good old chicken pie pie i'm telling you one of my favorites hands down So once you have your chicken all chopped up, go ahead and get your pan to about a medium. Go ahead and melt about a stick of unsalted butter. You are then gonna drop in some onions. You are then gonna drop in some mixed veggies. All right, go ahead and give that a stir just like so. You are then gonna add in some potatoes, okay? Go ahead and drop those in as well. Let them go for a little bit. We are now gonna drop in about half a tablespoon of some minced garlic. And guys, don't worry, all the exact measurements will be down in the description box, okay? It'll be right down there so you can have all your ingredients ready to go. And now we are going to drop in a little bit of all-purpose flour. Go ahead and get that cooking, all right? Give it a nice little stir, get everything mixed up. And we also are gonna drop in our wonderful seasoning blend. And again, like I said, everything will be down in the description box, okay? Once that's all said and done, we're gonna drop in some room temperature. Very important, room temperature chicken broth. Go ahead and get that in the pan as well. We, are also, we also want this to be a little bit of creamy. So once we're adding once we're done adding the chicken broth, we're gonna then add a little bit of milk to it, just a little bit. You can also add a little bit of heavy cream instead of the milk, it's all up to you. Or you can leave, you know, the milk or cream all out, you know, all together, no big deal. But I like it, it adds a little bit of creaminess to the dish, okay? So go ahead and let that simmer up. You can then add in your chopped up chicken, get that reincorporated into the party. Okay, get all that chicken in this pot. You are then gonna top it off, let it simmer just for a little bit as we work on the next step. So you wanna go ahead and preheat your oven to 400 degrees at this point. And we are using the Pillsbury pie crust. No, it's not homemade, but it still tastes good, okay? So our first layer, we are gonna drop it on the bottom of this pan, apply a little pressure, make sure it's all up in there. And then we're gonna grab our filling and just pour all of that goodness into this pie crust just like so. Okay, and once that's all said and done, go ahead and grab your second layer of pie crust 
and put that right on top, all right? You're gonna apply that right on top, you're gonna cut a couple slits in it, and you're gonna pop it into the oven until it's nice and golden brown. Usually it takes about 20 minutes or so, but you want a beautiful, nice, beautiful golden brown when it comes out of the oven. And voila, this is it, baby. This is it right here, guys. Beautiful golden brown crust. You got that ooey gooey goodness on the inside. Man, I'm trying to tell you, this is so delicious, okay? Go ahead, get you a knife, get your little spatula, whatever utensil you have on hand, make it work and get you some of this on a plate and dig right in amazing right here absolutely amazing i'm trying to let you know and like i said a million times all the ingredients and measurements will be right in the description box so you go ahead and do this recipe on your own and enjoy some of this with your boy i hope all you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching i'll see you on the next one deuces